And as long as they're in recession, I can't just keep uh, bringing people away. I'd have to fill it full of people once more. Yeah. I mean, it'll go away if I just give them plenty of cheese, but the cheese is not there yet. Well, I guess that's where wildcard Thagnus can come in on things. I want you, then, to abduct that and that and stick it in there. Some meat as well, because I really need them to not starve. And I'll get those sold perfectly well. And this stuff goes over to Harlem. Well, not before I take even more hemp. Because I'm desperate for some more... Uh, More fish, please. Of course, you have plenty of wood. I'm wondering, are they short on wood in Alberg? No, they are not. Are they short on brick? Heavens, yes. When it comes to wood, it seems like I have plenty across the board. Well, not in Danzig. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if I haven't updated Danzig for having a... Uh, counting house there. Alright, so too much wood, not enough clay. That's what I'm seeing. Can be dealt with. So here's hoping that offsets the starvation. Scarborough is its own thing, but I mean I don't rely on Scarborough for all that much, just wood. And we're under attack again. Pirate is limiting siege to Alborg. But okay, it's Storty again. They just never learn. And they always come back with the Snickers. Okay, starvation has gone away from Nashved, but uh, Scarborough is still in a pickle. And they have grain, just not enough. They have a lot of things, just not enough. But didn't I actually enlarge the grain train? And then there's the Ipa, which... Yeah, has no right to stop. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of beer there. Where's my grain train? Well, there's the wombat again returning from the west and again completely empty. I wonder if it's because there's not enough grain in the center, or if it's just still not big enough. That just strikes me as very odd, though. I know Edinburgh needs plenty of grain, though. Well, it's not like I'm short on boats here. Take some more. Whilst I... Uh Weep at the sound uh, sign of yet more pirates. Mm. 
two more places and then I'm done with getting my counting houses. But I need to check in on Hell Stinky again. It is very nice to know that everything I have set up is done so well that uh, I just make money by default. It's a good feeling. Okay, good there. Uh, their population normalized. I was getting worried for a sec. Just can't keep this guy happy. Okay, grant you a small village in this place, but he doesn't say where- Oh, Helsinki! And he wants wool, cloth, and grain. It just so happens that I can do that immediately. And would you look at that, Helsinki is right there. But I still have two places to establish myself. I need money, and I need it bad. And I need that fish to flow. And I need that bad. Alright, wildcard Thagnus. There are goodies to pick up. Sadly though, not a lot of clay. Where's a man meant to go to get some clay? Because clay is the one thing that you need tons of. And I did drop Regan production of clay. And then Bergen... I dropped the clay pits in favour of the sawmills. Well... Let's turn that around. These sawmills don't need to be so active anymore. Well, uh, they are still active to some degree, that's okay. Still though, I'm out of bricks, and I need more bricks. You now need to redo your trade routes to include Helsinki, says Anon Finn. Not yet, I don't need to do anything until Helsinki's actually up and running. But I do need to get it up and running. I think I will start it up, but not really build it up. And I hate to take all the clay from here, it's going to destroy a lot of my trade... Uh, my trade everything's really. Oh well. Oh yeah, and I need the mission to start it up. Cheese. Grain. Just what I needed. Unfortunately, I don't need so much anymore. I see that. Well, Helsinki's getting some beer and salt fished freshly out of the water. Take your 800 and your 400, like you need. And a bit extra just to keep the market stable. I don't know who's giving me this money, but I'm grateful that they are. It's waterlogged uh, beer. So Helsinki, I remember it being quite small. City size estimate places Helsinki. No, I'm wrong, it's actually larger than normal. It's 610. That's nice, and it's got everything that it needs, so this place will start building up immediately. Good. I'm also going to need the people movers moving people there. People mover. But what I'm going to do is not build it up. Smoke houses, clay pit, sawmill. I mean, the sawmill can certainly drop down. Sheep farm is fine. We need a ton of that. Clay pit. We always need a ton of that. Smoke man. We need a ton of everything.
But people mover needs to move people. Not a ton of them, 500's about all we need, so I'll take 800 and be happy. And I will take great note that we need a lot more salt there. Never ends, does it? And that means our salt to the west. Let's have a look for it. It'll be under S, right? Salt. Oh, we only have one doing the west. No? Yes. One east, one center, and the west only takes a thousand. Okay. Harlem itself requires let's round that up quite a lot and say 150 maybe even 200 so let's say 2000 for every 10 days let's say 4000 every 20 days which is about what this takes and I have my salt one that only takes about a thousand now it does include everything that we need to see there but I'm going to save salt west And I'm going to set up a second boat lot to do that. Hell, I can get my carvel to do it. Which is not here, it's over in Rostock. Looks great, right? Get to it. For some reason it does not start off in uh, Alborg as well it should. And it's fast. I like that. I like fast. Uh, there was something else I needed to do for it though. I need to give it a naming convention. Salt Alborg 4. What name do we have? Somebody wants to call it Bacon, which is a great name for uh, something that deals in salt. But I need another uh, another thousand or so to be working on that. Salt Al 5. And somebody wants to call it Dai Ken Kai. Don't know why I go for capitals there. Dai Ken Kai. I would also like you to do the salt west. That should keep things sufficiently salty over there. Good. And then no more complaints from Harlem about not having any salt. Except hang the heck on. I didn't change it for you, did I? Salt Daiken Kai. You need to start in Alberg. Good. Glad we understand. Okay, Hell Stinky, what's going on with you? You just need to build up, whilst I build up Dosh, and deal with starvation. Good, Scarborough is no, long, no longer starving. We were able to nip that one in the bud. It could have gotten really ugly. I was looking at Nitra's save and it's just starvation across the Hansa. Everybody, all they're doing is uh, submitting their goods towards the uh, mega monolith that is, uh, what, did, what did he have built up? I think it was Bruges or Bremen, I think it was Bremen, that was it. Horrific, really. Alright, fortunately the money is rolling in. Just rolling in. Look at it go. Five more days and then that'll be good to go. Still feeling that lack of clay though. And the abundance of wood. Are you ever planning on developing the river cities, aka Novgorod? Yes. Not much more to it, but yes. 
Boston, do you have too much of anything? Well, you have not enough uh, guards. No, Helsinki, of course, has none. Good. Very good. All these salters. Maybe I could get some clay from Boston. I don't need salt and all the beer comes from Edinburgh anyway. In fact, come to think of it, mm, might be an idea. It's not like these Boston people have anything better to do. I mean, they could pay me more rent. That would be awesome. But yes, one can never truly have too many bricks. People have tried, all have failed. You can tell they got a problem, I don't even have the bricks to establish this brick industry. Jake enjoying the glory that is Swedish Knights indoors with video games and streams. Yes, Zenon. But of course, is there any better way to spend my time in Sweden? Other than getting out of Sweden. Alright, auto boat face. Find that flotsam. And it's 55 spices as well. Get to it. My auto routes really don't do me so much, but I'm sure I can find a use for them in due time. Making millions. Actually, whilst I'm at it, why don't I dump all of this here so that I can actually build some warehouses. A few houses, we don't need many of them. need uh, some goods. Now apparently I already produced plenty of grain. I can barely tell because I'm scraping by on the grain over here. But what I could do is ease up Riga's cheese production. Or produce something else in Helsinki. Hmm... The thing is, it doesn't do anything so special that I can't already get in the center. And it doesn't do building materials. I mean, metal, woohoo, we already get that here. But more metal is better metal. And you know what, I always feel like there's not enough metal flowing. Buren would agree. In fact, the entire, uh... Are you kidding me? They actually have spare metal goods? Holy smokes, I might even be able to trade with the people now. This is amazing. You guys don't have metal. Alright, well, Helsinki needs something to do. We'll give them metal good, um, raw metal. We'll also build a wall. People should be able to tell that by the positioning that we can get that Helsinki is going to be a big place. Look at that. Look at all that space. And why are the fins so much better than everything?
there. That should keep people busy. I'm not looking to uh, make this a truly happening place, but that should be enough. Everywhere needs a shipyard. Everywhere needs a tavern. Otherwise, this looks good. Super City Harlem, still looking super. Over 20,000 there now. Right, the church is busy. Oh, of course, I'm not going to get much done unless I bring more goodies here. I'm just going to dump stuff in these warehouses that I have miraculously purchased and built with nobody here and I don't know who I'm hiring for my counting house but hire I shall let's just steal Edinburgh here load it up and consider where we are Helsinki only produces raw goods with the exception of clothes so really you don't need to hold any particularly special number of anything other than cloth and it's good to have plenty of grain I'm not gonna contempt you that But cloth, if you produce clothes for me, which I highly doubt you will, you'll want plenty of. Now, Thagnus, you need to pick up some bricks for me. And I'll be honest, I don't really know where you're getting all those bricks. I want Boston to produce some for me. But Boston's busy making salt, so I'll tell them stop making so much salt, start making more bricks. Good. I need to spread more wood over here. He's besieging Rostock, Lubeck, Hamburg. Okay, basically he's just being a nasty piece of work. But it should make him a lot happier once he's finished doing all that. since uh, wood seems to be in demand around here, I'm going to go over to these places and just dump loads of it. Bisbee says no wood. I say... Here you go. They say flotsam. I say yoink. Riga's got plenty of wood. Because... No. And Stockholm ever lacking in, well, everything. Still, I can go to the guild and I can, holy crap! I can't afford that. As in it would be the uh, marketing equivalent or the merchant equivalent of Pyrrhic. Pyrrhic victory establishing that. Increased production in Helsinki. More clothing please, okay. Again, I don't know who's paying me this, but I'll take it. Also, there was somewhere that I made a couple of businesses that I didn't care at all about. I think it was Mead. I have no idea where it was, though. It's been too long. Forgot all about it. Alright, this should be fine. Shouldn't need too much more. I'm not looking for Helsinki to be a truly happening place. Oh, but I know what can what I can do to help with my money situation. I can take all this. Harlem's a nice place. 8% tax tends to be appropriate. Riga, eh, well, still my money. And now I can afford to establish myself in Stockholm. Let's take those while we're at it. And... You're commissioning a counting house? For your own sake, you should leave it at that. And looking good, Joker. 
We could look better though if we have some houses. I expect you to either tear this house down immediately or cut me in on the profits. Remember, I was here first. I have already told you a number of times that I do not appreciate your continued expansion in my city. You are disturbing my business. Bloody sweets. Anyway, they don't really deserve Stockholm, even though it only has a capacity of about 500 people. That leaves only one place left, Revel. They aren't going to make it easy for me. But we'll get that money come hell or high water. Oh, crap. Pirate Wigbold attacks my grains. Well, at least it was over in the east, and I don't care so much about the east, but still, I don't take lightly to being attacked here, Wiggy. For that, you die. This is how easy it is just to avoid things. I smash them, they don't even get one on me because my new my maneuverability and speed far exceeds that of these guys. Down you go. Wow, I got all my grain back. Take it. Wasn't there a city Jake said needed salt? Yeah, that was Harlem. Harlem now has a ton of salt because I sorted out automated convoys, which is a lot better than microing it because I would get bored to hell if this game was just micro and nothing else. So, it's only going to be a couple more days until my schmelters are ready. Wildcard needs to go and get something, I don't even know what. But Helsinki will starve if I don't add it to my roots. So time to do that incredibly enjoyable part again, where I add cities to this. Now, no, don't knock 500 grain. 500 grain is not 100 ducats. If you sell at a good price, that's more like 6,000 ducats. I mean, this isn't selling at a good price, but still, it would be a thousand times that. Even selling not at a good price. Wait, did I say 6,000? 100? No, 60,000. Uh, 30,000. Whatever. Thousands of ducats. But more so than just raw money right now, it's stopping starvation. And starvation stops the growth of my towns, and growth of my towns makes me even more money. It's a delicious cycle. Now, what do we do about Helsinki? We need to add it to all the everything. But man, that would be easier if Revel was already... Um, if I already had a counting house here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the money to establish myself in Revel. However, that means Wildcard Thagnus should probably take enough food so that uh, Helsinki won't die on its arse. Well, food and other goods, so we can keep it nice. Whoa, whoa, why, why the horrific lack of salt here? We have salt here. We have salt here. Okay, my salt situation is not grand. Oh well, let's not get distracted by that right now. Plenty of wood, people love wood, and they love bricks. They love hemp, I'm told, even wool. They produce metal, or will produce metal, so I'm not concerned about that. Get them some beer, get them some more kinds of food, get them even more kinds of food. Even, yeah, you see where that's going. Onwards to keep Helsinki alive. Just while I get enough money to establish myself in Revel and then start up all my, uh, all my everything. I didn't like that. You again. Just pirate from Ripon. What's he doing here? How did he get here?
Danzig's uh, businesses are ugly. Look at all this. Tempted to make him tear it all down before I even get serious with him. Ripen, you don't have any missions to get rid of this boat, do you? No. Oh, but you do have bacon.